Creating Comrades is an opportunity to get to know your fellow creative professionals in their own intimate settings. This month, we're meeting with Tara Tominaga at her in-home studio. My name is Tara Tominaga Watkins. I am from originally Hesperia, California. I moved to Havasu last December. So, fun fact about myself, I got into college for an aerospace engineering major and then switched to fine art painting one quarter in. I am the marketing and events manager at the Lake Havasu City Convention and Visitors Bureau where I handle their social media, their blog writing. This video I made about Lake Havasu, it's called like advice from Lake Havasu and so it's kind of got all these really fun tidbits about you know like always remember to sparkle and it's this shot of the lake really beautiful and glittery and in my spare time I do a lot of painting and I write and illustrate and self-publish children's books. Uh, but my favorite is acrylics. Watercolor is fun, but incredibly frustrating, and oils are too much cleanup. <laughs> painting, just endless painting. <laughs> I'm never working on just one painting at a time. Um, and there's just endless inspiration on social media. There are some artists that I'm obsessed with, absolutely. That's Lindsay Rapp and Tanya Shatsiba. It's sort of this pop surrealism movement that's happening um, a lot on social media right now. So I recently completed my third children's book. It's called Daisy and Otto Chill Out. Uh, they head up to the Arctic Sea, which is a lot of fun because I was able to introduce a bunch of new characters, uh, like a narwhal and a purple shore crab which is a lot of fun. <laughs> Daisy is a sea urchin and Otto is an otter and they are my favorite children's book characters ever because I created them. <laughs> and normally you wouldn't see an otter and a sea urchin being friends, but it's a children's book, so why not? I think it's a great opportunity to teach kids that friendships come in all shapes and sizes. Just don't give up, like it gets really hard and really dark sometimes but you sort of just have to push past it because if you don't swing you're definitely not going to hit the ball. So Creative Comrades is really great because it's this community of creative entrepreneurs and we all sort of feed off of each other's creativity and there's always that support system so if you do ever find yourself with a lack of focus or with a lack of discipline you sort of have this support group to fall back onto to help you get back on track. I have spoken at Creative Comrades. Uh, I did social media, which was exciting. And I wish I could do it again because I feel like I didn't say all of the things that I wanted to say, but it happens. <laughs> I'm all over the internet. I have a website. It's www.terramtominaga.com. And then all of my social medias are at Tara M. Tominaga. Wow, comrades, it sounds like Tara's making some big waves in our industry. Want to find out who we talk to next month? Sign up for our newsletter where you get up-to-date information on what happened last month, what's happening next month, and who we're talking to at Creating Comrades.